Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm the Executive Assistant at Keurig Immigration Law. And today we're gonna to be discussing what happens after you receive first stage approval for your humanitarian and compassionate application. So if you've received correspondence from immigration stating that you have uh, been given first stage approval for your agency application, this is great news because unless you're proven inadmissible, it's most likely that your application will be approved and you'll be granted permanent resident status. However, it is important to note that this first stage approval is not the ultimate decision and that the application has not been approved just yet. So what this means is that the officer may have additional requests before a final decision is made. So these additional requests might involve submitting updated forms or updated documents, um, potentially documents concerning your financial capability in Canada. The officer would want to confirm how you intend to financially support yourself in Canada because if the officer feels that you know you might end up on welfare or social security it would be less likely that permanent resident status would be granted to you therefore jeopardizing uh, the approval of your application something else that would happen after you receive this first stage approval would be that you would be, well, if you were residing in Quebec and if you submitted this application uh, within the province of Quebec, would be that you would now be given the opportunity to uh, submit your CSQ application, which is the Certificat de Sélection de Québec. This is essentially just a parallel application stating that you're currently residing in Quebec with a residential address uh, within the province. At this point, for uh, after receiving first stage approval, if you are out of status, this would be the point where you would receive an open work permit, uh, which is great news for our applicants who may either have not been able to work legally or have not been able to work at all. This will be uh, a source of income for them and you will be able to find a job uh, with any employer with this open work permit. And something else that would happen at this uh, first stage approval um, period would be that uh, medical examinations would uh, need to be done and additionally immigration would be conducting their own security and background checks on their part. So while it's really exciting to receive that first stage approval because it means that you're one step closer to becoming a, a permanent resident and not to discredit that uh, one bit, but it's important to expect the unexpected as there could still be a few more hurdles in the way before this application is ultimately approved. So if you have any other questions regarding humanitarian and compassionate applications, don't hesitate to contact our office and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.